Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Sidelines. I'm Jimmy Johnson. Bucknell made it back-to-back -back sweeps in the outdoor track and field, and the Navy women's lacrosse team earned its second consecutive NCAA tournament bid over the weekend. Bucknell cruised to the title, scoring 189.5 points on the men's side and 164 on the women's side. Bison coach Kevin Donner was named the coach of the year for both the men and the women. Robert Arndt won his second straight Outdoor Track Athlete of the Meet award, winning both the 400 dash and the 400 hurdles on Saturday. It's the Bison's second straight sweep and their third since the league started 20 years ago. The Navy women's lacrosse team scored early and often in a 20-5 route of NEC champion Quinnipiac on Saturday. Jasmine DePompio scored eight points, giving her 22 in her last three games. Caitlin Mandarin Hill and Kathy Young each scored five goals as the Mids took a 7-3 halftime lead and piled on 13 more goals in the second half. On Sunday, it was announced that the Mids would play number one Maryland in the first round of the tournament. For Navy senior captain Mandarin Hill, she's just happy to be back in the tournament once again. I mean, it's a great feeling, but I sort of, I mean, it's what I wanted from the beginning of the season, and the team was really supportive of the entire, obviously, like, we want to go as far as we can. So it's just a great feeling. We sort of knew that we were going to be here because we were committed to doing it. So, I mean, we're here, so all the hard work is paid off for us. It feels great. The Mids will take on the Terrapins at noon Saturday in College Park, Maryland. In men's lacrosse, the Bucknell men's team also found out where it was going Sunday after the NCAA selection show. The Bison will travel to Charlottesville, Virginia to play number 7 University of Virginia at 3 p.m. Sunday. Now let's go in the herd with Doug Birdsong to catch the Bison's reaction after the selection show. The Bucknell men's lacrosse team gathered at Damon's Grill in Lewisburg Sunday night to see who they would be facing in the first round of the NCAA tournament. After watching ESPNU for about 20 minutes, the Bison found out that they'll be facing off against the Virginia Cavaliers on Sunday in Charlottesville, Virginia. Senior long stick defenseman John Collette says he and his fellow four-year mates have already met one of their objectives. Since last season, we've been preaching, uh, you know, winning the Pitch League tournament being our number one goal, and uh, you know, our hard work uh, really paid off, and uh, you know, we're we're more than excited to win. Fellow senior Ryan Klipstein says the best thing about the way the Bucknell coaching staff approaches games is it puts a lot of reliance on the players on the field. We make decisions out there, um, so in terms of you know communicating on the sideline, if that's if that's an issue, we, we feel confident we're going to go out there and we're going to play our game, and most importantly, we're going to we're going to control tempo. Head coach Frank Federaca says he feels his team is prepared for the NCAA tournament because his squad has been playing tournament ball for quite a while. Go to Army, go to Lehigh, then go to Colgate and win them all or else we weren't going to host. And then of course we had to win the tournament. So we've basically been playing single elimination lacrosse for the last five weeks and uh, and three of them were on the road. So I, you know I think we've, we're, we're, we're equipped for whatever adversity comes next and going to Virginia is not going to be easy. Um, but uh, with the seniors we have and what we've been through, um, we're just going to attack it like we've attacked everything else this year. He says the Bison tied Virginia 6-6 in a preseason scrimmage. But they have terrific athletes all over the field and dynamic players. And, and again, they push the tempo, so there's a give and take with that. They did play their best game of the year last week when they beat Penn 11-2. So they played good offense and good defense. But... Um, they're typically known to, to play like the high-powered offense. Face-off for the Bucknell Virginia game is 3 p.m. Sunday. The final two spring championships in the Patriot League open this weekend with softball kicking off Thursday and baseball throwing its first postseason pitch on Saturday. The Colgate Raiders are in the top seed in the softball tournament and will face four-seeded Army, and second-seeded Lehigh will face third-seeded Holy Cross in the double elimination tournament that starts Thursday and ends Saturday. In baseball, the top two seeds are number one Navy and number two Army, and they will host semifinals on Saturday. Navy will go up against fourth seed at Bucknell in a best of three game series, and Army will host third seed at Lafayette, which boasts the player of the year in catcher A.J. Miller. His coach Joe Kinney met up with Lafayette Sports Network's Matt Panto for an interview, and here are the highlights. A big weekend for the Lafayette baseball team, and a big week for the Lafayette baseball team as it is finals week on College Hill, and then also the semifinal round of the Patriot League tournament coming up 
up to Army, and who better to talk to than the head coach of the Leopards and Joe Kinney. Joe, welcome back to LS on All Access. Matt, thanks for having me. Uh, let's start with, uh, it's been about a week and a half now since you guys have clinched their Patriot League tournament berth down at Navy. Uh, talk about the Lemoyne series from this past weekend and also the Wagner game from uh, last past week and what you've been looking for in this last week and a half. Well, we're fortunate that our finals come late and we're able to still schedule some games for a number of reasons. One, the weather is obviously good at this time of the year usually. And two, baseball's a game where it's important to keep playing and give your pitchers opportunities, your hitters, et cetera, and then also maybe play some just other guys when you can. And uh, that certainly was provided to us playing Wagner and LeMoyne, even though we didn't fare as well as we would have liked. Uh, LeMoyne's a decent program, and was a challenge for us and the scores I think kind of showed that and regardless we've got to keep playing as opposed to inter squatting all the time etc which sometimes gets a little bit stale. Announced later today that AJ Miller is your third Patriot League player of the year. Talk about AJ and the incredible season senior season that he's had. Well I, I, AJ can probably answer that a little bit better. I'd like to think that this year is the culmination of his first three and really all the things that he's learned which as a catcher you're learning a tremendous amount both offensively and defensively. And I think every coach probably puts a lot of pressure on their catcher to kind of be the coach on the field. And sometimes they get the brunt of a lot of punishment and he's no exception. And he's handled that really, really, really well over his time here. And, you know, this year, he, just in his preparation and how he handled uh, the challenges of being a captain and going through the summers and, and the fall and so on and so forth, uh, he's, he sort of had that air about him from day one. And, uh, you know, fortunately for him, he's been able to back that up with performance on the field. Up next is the present in this Patriot League semifinal round. Keys to the weekend. What do you see going forward? What's the uh, message to the team this week? I mean, two biggest keys. One, control in their lineup. Uh, they have some really experienced hitters that seem like they've been there for a really long time. So I won't be disappointed to see some of those guys graduate. Um, uh, so that, that's certainly a key, pitching to their lineup and, and obviously executing pitches. They're going to get hits. They're going to score runs. Obviously, we've got to try to minimize that to the best we can. And then offensively, uh, figuring out their pitchers and who, who they're going to pitch. Uh, we scored some runs the first day we played them this year, and then the next day against two of their newer pitchers, if you would, uh, who we hadn't seen too much. Both those guys did a nice job if they pitched them this weekend. Um, doing a, maybe a little bit better offensive job of, of being maybe more aggressive and uh, trying to capitalize on some situations that hopefully we can create for ourselves. Enjoy the rest of the week. Have a safe trip up to West Point. We'll catch you this weekend. Good luck. Thank you, Matt. Absolutely. Head Matt, Pan Matt Panto here inside Kirby Sports Center with head coach Joe Kinney. You can catch all three games, the third game if necessary, but certainly games one and two on LSN All Access on Saturday afternoon from West Point. Lafayette taking on Army in the Patriot League semifinals. Both the baseball and softball tournaments will be available on Patriot League All Access, so be sure to sign up and watch every pitch. And if you miss anything, you can log on to PatriotLeague.com for all the latest news and notes. You can also keep track of the tournaments by following us on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you again next week.